shoulder joint is the most versatile joint in your entire body. It can move in multiple planes with very little effort. But because of that, the shoulder joint is prone to developing injuries and experiencing wear and tear. Rotator cuff injuries, tendinopathies, bursitis, frozen shoulder. These are common conditions that cause pain and oftentimes movement restrictions in the shoulder joint. In this video, I'm going to show you a protocol that I use in my office that has given me great success in treating these common forms of shoulder pain. It involves soft tissue therapy and red light therapy. Red light therapy is a modality that can enhance cellular regeneration and decrease inflammation, two things that are important to wound healing, to injury repair. I begin by rubbing Penetrex or a comparable pain relieving cream all around the shoulder joint. Now this will act as an emollient for the myofascial instrument. I use the myofascial instrument all around the shoulder joint to target ligaments, tendinous attachments, muscles, bursa, and what I'm looking for are scar tissue adhesions. They'll feel like tiny little pebbles. You may even hear some clicks and what you're trying to do here is to soften those structures. I'll externally rotate the shoulder and what that does is expose the front of the humeral head so you could access more areas. Now I'm working on the supraspinatus tendon. This is the tendon that if it thickens can bunch up right under the acromion process and inhibit shoulder abduction or restrict your ability to raise your shoulder. You could use a pointed end and the broad end of the instrument. Now here I apply the red light therapy using a special device called the Tendlite, the front of the humeral head, and right underneath the acromion process, there's a space between that and the humeral head that makes a good target for the light therapy, and of course behind the shoulder joint. Now here is red light therapy to the supraspinatus tendon. This particular device goes for 60 seconds before it shuts off. That's one dose. Notice how I rotate the arm outwards, and again, this will expose more areas of the shoulder. And don't forget that you can access the shoulder joint quite effectively from the armpit or axilla. This is a great area to target because there are no major muscles obstructing the joint.